Uh, I'm uh, Dennis Oglesby. I'm the senior pastor at Park Avenue United Methodist Church in, uh, on 34th and Park here on the south side. Uh, Park Avenue is a United Methodist congregation that is uh, a historic church on the south side of Minneapolis. We've been on that corner of 34th and Park for 100 years and been in the community for well over 128 years, I do believe. Um, Park Avenue is a very diverse church. We are diverse in race. We are diverse in color. We are diverse in, in, in economics. We are diverse in education. Every aspect of diversity is represented at Park. And um, there are those in our congregation who do not support the marriage amendment. And there are those in our congregation that do support the marriage amendment. We're divided around those things. Just like all of our society and just like all of our culture, we're divided on those things that, um, that that uh, separate us and they, they kind of cre create barriers mm -hmm. uh, and we try not to operate within barriers but to operate within levels of commonality of our humanity, of our love for God, our love for Jesus Christ and the ways in which we live that out in the community. Mm -hmm. Well people are in pain. I mean people are in pain. This is this is huge for some people. It's huge for some people because it, it, the marriage amendment says that anybody can get married, you know, and then, um, I mean, it does not, the marriage amendment restricts people from getting married, and, uh, the, and people who say vote no on the amendment uh, sometimes, not sometimes, but feel as if they're going against what they've always been taught and what they've always believed to be true, that marriage is between a husband and wife. And so members of our congregation are in pain about the whole issue because it's, a, it's an issue that separates and divides rather than unites us and brings us together. Well, I think... Um, I think that uh, our, con our congregation uh, has very strong feelings about that as well. I believe, as a person of color, that the voter restrictions in voting should not be tolerated at all. It should not even be being debated right now or even questioned. But out of 38 states in this country, 38 states have begun a registration process, an ID registration process for voter registration. And in, in, in its way, it appears as if the race of politics is really impacting the liberties and freedoms that we have as Americans in this country. I'm responsible to talk to my congregation about what the Bible says. And the Bible has many passages of scripture that are also interpreted from, you know, different different perspectives. But there's one passage of scripture in Amos that speaks very clearly that how do we uh, love God or how do we uh, show our um, our faith? What, is, what are we supposed to do? We're supposed to love justice, love kindness and walk humbly with our God. And so if we are to see injustice, injustice somewhere is injustice everywhere. We're supposed to speak against it. If we are, are not civil and kind and loving to one another as a Christian, then we need to examine our faith. And then as, as, as people of God, we are to love God and love all of God's people. And so that scripture kind of speaks profoundly to issues of justice and social justice and, and racial injustice and those kinds of things. The reason I'm here is because a friend of mine, Mary Mira Anderson, who's one of the organizers of this event, she invited me uh, to come. And she's a friend, and she's a friend of my family. And I wanted to be here to support her, but I also want to be in support of people who feel as if uh, society, and against, uh, who feel that society and against uh, our culture challenges their, their, uh, their right to live life. And, and I think that all of us have a basic right to live life. I think there's a basic human dignity we all have and we all share. We may go about it differently, but it is my opinion that, you know, my job is to live out the gospel in words as well as deeds.